Hi guys, so I'm actually filming a number of videos today all in one go just because I've got so much to talk to you about and I just thought it'd be easier to get them all filmed today and then I can edit them and get them up as and when. So I may have the same hairdo, same outfit, same layout, um, but lots of different videos. In this video I wanted to talk to you about eyelash lifting. This is a procedure that you can get done in a beauty salon. It's a little bit like the old permin, but instead of curling your lashes, they lift them from the root straight up. You can get it done in most local salons. I think there's a few different brands of it, but they're all pretty much the same. So this is something that I went to my local salon to get done um, before my recent trip to Miami and Florida. If you want to see my haul from um, what I bought over there, then click down below. I will list that video for you. If it's up, I don't know what order I'm putting them up in, but eventually it'll be down below. Um, or you can subscribe if it's not up yet, it will be up. Um, so I was going and I knew that I would be in the pool a lot and wouldn't really want to wear a lot of makeup every day. But I am the type of girl, true scouse girl, that likes to look glam at all times if possible. I don't really like to leave the house without my mascara on. I feel really weird. Um, I mean, nothing against people who don't wear a lot of makeup. I wish I could be that person, um, but it just doesn't really feel like me. So um, I wanted to do something so that I could get away with wearing less makeup but still look like I had some on. So I decided I would go and get a lash lift because I am a beauty therapist, I have worked in salons. I've never done the lash lift procedure before, but I've heard a lot about it, I've heard it's really good. So I think, I don't know the brand of the name that I went for, um, but I decided that I wanted a lash lift and you also get a free lash tint with it. I've got really naturally long eyelashes, um, I'm really lucky that way, but they aren't that thick. They're really long, they're really blonde, which is annoying, <laughs> and but they're, they're not that thick. So I just wanted them to look a bit fuller, a bit darker without makeup. So I went and the therapist was really excited because she said, oh, you've got really long lashes and I think it's going to look really good on you. Now, I had discussed with the same beauty therapist a bit before um, getting it done, oh God, months ago. And she'd said, oh, we'd probably use the thicker bands for you. Basically, they use, what they do is, they put a rubber pad on your eyelid. They tape your bottom eyelashes down, close your eyes. They put pad here, rubber pad, and then they glue your eyelashes to the pad. Then they put over the top a solution that, um, I'm assuming it's like a permanent solution that adheres to your eyelashes and then when you take it all off, it takes them like an hour, they do multiple applications. When they take it all off, your lashes are shaped that way to the pad. So it lifts them from the root. Um, doesn't really damage your eyelashes or anything like that. And that's another thing, I was thinking about eyelash extensions to like thicken them up. But the problem is when you rub your eyes with those, they pull and they can pull out your natural lashes. I've just never really fancied it because I've already got quite all right eyelashes. I didn't want to ruin them. So I thought, oh, a lift will be just natural. It'll look nice. So we discussed that I would need the thicker pads. There's, I think there's three different widths you can get. You can get the thin one, which obviously lifts it straight up. And you can get a thicker one, which brings it out and up a bit more. And then the thickest is even more. And I think we originally discussed that I would use the thickest pads because I have such long eyelashes. If they go straight up, they're going to touch my eyelids here. So I didn't really discuss it with her when I went in. I just was just trusted her and thought she knows what she's doing because I certainly feel like I knew what I was doing when I was a beauty therapist. And by no means am I blaming the girl. And I did really love the results. Um, but just something to look out for. She used the thinnest pads on my eyelashes. I think 
we were really excited because we wanted like the best result possible and with my eyelashes looking really long then you know you can really see the lift so we were both like I was just like yeah give me the max um so she put the pads on me sat there for an hour it might have been a little bit longer than an hour um she also tinted my eyelashes and when I took it all off my eyes were a little bit watery but when I looked the results were amazing it looked like I had false eyelashes on they were thick they were black they were gorgeous um they did look a bit um what's the word like they looked extreme but obviously I just opened my eyes from like an hour hour and a half and um to me the results looked great so anyway, I left and when I got home, I realised that actually they were irritating me a little bit and they were like the ends of my eyelashes. I know eyelashes are soft, but they were like stabbing me in the eyelid and it was really annoying me and I couldn't blink properly. So I looked in the mirror and it looked like I was shocked. So they were literally touching my eyelids. I can't describe to you. Say that's my eyelid my eyelash was like this so it was straight up and it was flat to my eyelid which obviously does not look natural it looked weird um peter came home and he was like oh your eyelashes look good and then he looked a bit closer and he went babe you look surprised i looked shocked and surprised the whole time so i was thinking oh it's just because they've just been done they'll definitely drop so I texted the therapist and I was just like, is this normal? I showed her a picture from the side and they were literally stuck to my eyelids. And she was like, oh, they didn't look like that when I took them off. And I was like, I know they didn't, they definitely didn't look that bad. I don't know whether it was because the pad was behind them. They just didn't stick to my eyelid. I don't know. But basically, they were stuck to my eyelid. Woke up the next day and they looked even curlier. And... That was, how long have we been back from holiday? It must be four weeks ago now, maybe three, maybe four. And they are still stuck to my eyelid. I've only just managed, oh God, I'm getting close now. You see the state of my makeup because I cannot get behind them to put eyeliner on. They are so curly. And the thing is now, because new ones have started to grow, they're growing out normally. They've now, like, just tangled up. They've gone absolutely crazy. Um, and I have to say, I just would never do it again. I would, well, never say never. Um, obviously, I could try it with the thicker pads because I think that was the main problem. It was a brilliant result. And, you know, it looked really good for the holiday. But then I was also bridesmaid for my friend at the weekend and she had makeup artists. And the makeup artist couldn't get mascara on my eye because my eyelashes are touching my eyelid. As soon as you put mascara on, it just smears all up my eyeball. Um, so this is just a tale of, um, what do they say? I'm just forewarning you to go in with your eyes open, no pun intended, and be careful what you're doing. Um, Peter said to me, see, all these people getting surgery and Botox, you've only had your eyelashes done and it's gone wrong. And at least it's going to grow out because it will grow out. I think it's supposed to last six weeks. So hopefully, I'll update you, but hopefully my eyelashes will be back to normal after six weeks. But I have spoken in the past about wanting to maybe get a bit of Botox or something like that. And I've never had the guts to do it. And Peter really does not want me to do it. But he was like, see, that's only your, only your eyelashes and it's not permanent. Imagine if something went wrong with surgery so I would say I am the beauty therapist I'm trained I'm qualified and I got it wrong I didn't 100% check which pads were going on me or what the results would be so I would just say make sure you know your procedures inside out make sure you know what you're getting and plan ahead because although I wanted it for the holiday I wasn't necessarily fussed for having it for the wedding and I think out of the two I would rather have had nice eyelashes for the wedding because it affected my whole makeup and those pictures are going to be there forever now. Um, 
which is fine. The bride looked beautiful, which is all that matters. I say I was being a good bridesmaid. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about the procedure, let me know. If you are thinking about having it, please don't let this put you off. I think, you know, I've seen brilliant results. This is just something that went a bit wrong with mine. Um, I would definitely get an eyelash tint again, especially the girl I went to was brilliant at the tint. It's the best tint I've ever got. Um, so yeah, so that's all I wanted to share. If there's any more beauty um, treatments you'd like to know about, just let me know because obviously being trained in beauty therapy, there is quite a lot that I would know that the average Joe wouldn't. So if there's something you'd like to know about, then send me your questions either in the comments or on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. I'm on all of them. I'm Tara Frosted Planet. And yeah, so nice to speak with you guys. Just have a little chat. See you soon. Bye.